Okay, so we're going to start off with some brushes that I have that I only have one of. And then we will go on to the collections at that point. Okay, starting out, this is a foundation brush that I bought at a local grocery store. I believe it was H-E-B. I don't know um, if H-E-Bs are in other places other than Texas, but that is a grocery store chain that we have here. And I think I bought this brush maybe back in 2012 or 2011. It is very old. The bristles have just kind of gone, they're just not, you know, good quality anymore. And I don't, I think this may have been a 4 or $5 brush at the time. And I don't even use this kind of brush for my foundation anymore. So we are going to be decluttering this. It really just needs to go into the trash. All right. Moving on, I have another foundation brush right here. And I don't recall what brand this is. And it doesn't seem to have anything written on it. Even though I don't use these kind of brushes for my foundation, I do use this brush from time to time um, with my concealer. So I will be keeping this one. Moving on, this is not really a brush per se. It is a face mask um, paddle. And I just don't use this very often. I really don't use these kind of paddles to apply my face mask. I prefer to do them with my fingertips. But I do have one that I like better than this one if I was going to use a face mask paddle. So this one is going to be decluttered as well. Moving on, I have this eyeshadow brush right here. I don't remember um, what brand this is. I don't know what the P stands for, honestly. And I guess I, I could have looked it up, but I haven't. There's nothing wrong with this brush. I just, it's, it's awkward and I don't really use it. But I don't think I want to get rid of it yet at this time. So I am going to keep it. Maybe I need to do a little bit more research on it. Okay. Then I have this eyeshadow brush by Unique Products. And this one I actually use quite a bit for my, um, to put my clean base canvas, eye canvas on. I like the, the denseness of it. And yes, I, I use this one from time to time. So we will be keeping that. Okay, moving on, I have this brush that came in my Urban Decay Naked Palette that I bought, I don't even know how many years ago. At the time, I used it all the time because it was my nicest brush at that time. And now, I, I just don't reach for it, and I think that I'm just going to put it back in the eyeshadow case instead of keeping it in my everyday eyeshadow, or instead of keeping it in the jars with the other brushes. Okay, then I have these two brushes from Wet n Wild. There is nothing wrong with them. Um, they, I mean, for the price point, they work pretty good. I think I paid 99 cents a piece for these. And I will be decluttering both of these. I just think that somebody else will get better use out of them. I have this Wet n Wild brush, the P75. I believe it is a highlighter brush, but I prefer to use it with my under eye setting powder. I like the the bristles on it are just really soft and it, I find that I'll that it works very well for the under eye setting powder. Okay then I have this elf putty primer applicator brush that I purchased um, a couple of months ago. Actually it may have been last month. And I used this with my e.l.f. Putty Primer, and I used it with my, um, my Glam Glow Putty Primer that I just got the other day. I really like it. It is a bit of a chore to clean, but I think that's more to do with the product. It's just sometimes hard to get primer and foundation out of brushes. Alright, I have several brushes from e.l.f., um... We're going to do these three first because it's a collection. This was the mint collection from e.l.f. And I just have an eyeshadow brush, um, a small blending brush, and then a larger blending brush. I do like e.l.f. brushes, and I think I purchased these last month. I bought them at the same time as the putty primer brush, and I will be keeping all three of these. This brush 
from e.l.f. Um, was a free gift with my order that I placed last month. And I used this for my clean eye canvas. It's my favorite um, between this and the Unique. But if this one needs to be washed, then I will use the Unique. Then I have three or four of the black handled e.l.f. brushes. I have the small angled brush, the blending brush, the eyeshadow C brush, and then this other one, the name is literally rubbed off. I have this one right here is the angled brush, and then this is the one that the name is rubbed off of. I use this kind of to buff the crease. This small eyeshadow brush, and then oops, this blending brush right here. I do use these from time to time. They're not my favorites. I don't reach for them as often. But if I have not cleaned my brushes in several days and I need a clean brush, I will reach for my e.l.f. brushes. And then I have this last e.l.f. blending eyeshadow brush. And I probably reach for this one even less than I do the black set. So I believe I will be decluttering this one. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't reach for it very often. And I'm really not a fan of these smaller blending brushes. I like the slightly fluffier ones more. So we're going to be decluttering that one. Okay, now we have um, what is left of my Jessup white brush set. Um, and I say that because I bought these and it was a full brush set. And I paid $16 for them on Amazon. And I have another set of Jessup brushes that I like a lot better. These... I have already decluttered most of them because the bristles were coming out and they were just not very soft. These are the ones that were not that bad and so I kept most of these. But I want to say the set was around 24 and this is all that I have left. And out of all these brushes, the only two that I really use are these two. And, yeah, these other four I just generally don't use. This one is a concealer brush, and I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up or not, but the handle on it is just cracking, and I don't really know why or what caused that, but I will be decluttering all of these right here. And I'm just going to keep these two that I that I actually do use. I like this one right here. It's flat and very small. I like this for the inner corner. And then this one I like to use with my shimmers. Okay. Then I have these two brushes from BoxyCharm. I don't ever use these brushes, but I really do like the aesthetics of them. For me, though, to um, I, they seem awkward to hold to use. I don't know if it's something to do with the complete straight. I don't know, but I like them as in I like the way that they look and I will be holding on to them for a little while longer. But other than that, I just really don't use them very often and maybe I should declutter them, but for right now I'm going to hold on to these two. Okay, and that is everything that was in our first jar. Now I have my blue Jessup brushes that my husband bought for me when I, I guess it's probably been about two years ago, and I'm going to show these. I have a full set, and I really like these, but I have brushes that I like a lot more now, and so I don't use these very often, but I'm going to try to show them to you as quickly as possible so that we can move on. Let's see. So, I may show them in sets of four. I have the JE13 Angled Brush, the JE1 Fine Shader, the JE12 Brow Liner, and the JL Flat Lip. See right there? Maybe I should show two at a time. Okay, hold on. Never mind my nails. I 
have not painted them. I have not gotten them done. I know that I need to, but the last time that I had them done, they filed them so thin, and they're just so brittle now, and they're just cracking and falling apart, and I'm just trying to let them heal a little bit before I do much more to them. That's the first four out of the just set. I do enjoy this set. I just don't reach for them on a daily basis. This brush is the Jessup Easy Liner, and it came bent like that. Oh my goodness. Y'all, my blow dryer just fell off my makeup table. I don't know why. Okay. It came bent like that in the set, and I tried to contact the seller to get a replacement, and I never could get a response back, and so I've kept it. And it actually doesn't bother me so much, the angle, because it kind of works. So... That is the Jessup Easy Liner. Okay, and then I have the Small Fan, which I very seldom use, but it does come with the set, and I want to keep the set intact. But it is a highlighter fan, and it's just really super tiny to kind of give you a viewpoint. It's you know, not much wider than a finger. All right, then we have these blending brushes. I have the Jessup Small Blender, the Jessup Soft Blending, the Regular Blending, and then the Round Eyeshadow Brush right here. We will focus on those or not. And like I said, I like these brushes. Um, I just don't reach for them that often, but I do... I do like these brushes a lot, and like I said, it's the first set that my husband ever purchased for me. I think it's the only set of brushes he ever purchased for me, so I will definitely be holding on to these. All right, we have uh, four more. This one is a eyeshadow brush that the handle has just basically falling ap fallen apart on, and a like I said, a couple of the white Jessup brushes did this as well. And it was a little bit irritating because even though this was a large set, I believe it was like $70. At that point in time, I really didn't know much about makeup brushes. And I thought that this was the most bang for my buck. Or not my buck, but his buck. <laughs> okay, and then I have the Smoky Eyeshadow, the Small Eyeshader, and the Concealer right there. This one is stained from blue eyeshadow. It just won't come off. I'm not a real big fan of the white bristles on brushes for that reason right there. Okay. And that is all that goes in that jar. If I can fit them all back in. Oh, goodness. Well, I'm going to have to separate the declutter ones again because I just scooped them all up at one time. Okay. So we have some more of the Jessup set. I guess I'll just show you all the rest all at once. These are the face brushes. I have the Jessup fan brush. It is the JF15 fan. This is a larger highlighter fan brush. I very seldom use this type of brushes for my highlighter, but I do from time to time. I have the Jessup Duo Fiber brush. I don't recall the last time that I used this one. It's just kind of a weird brush for me. Okay. Then I have the angled blush brush. I do use this one. Um, I like the angled brushes for the blush. This one also has a crack in the handle. And I think some of the cracks in my in these older and these brush handles may have been from me leaving them in water too long. When I first started cleaning my brushes, I really didn't have a clue what I was doing. We have the tapered contour brush right here. This is a nice brush. I like the bristles on it. It's also Jessup, all from the same set. We have the round concealer brush. And since I have this blue one, I definitely am going to um, rehome the white one. Because, I, like I said, I prefer the blue set. Anyhow, and I've already gotten rid of most of the white ones. This is the JF04 Blusher. The JF03 Large Blusher. And I actually prefer these brushes for um, my contour. Well, not really so much my contour as my bronzer. Um, 
I don't really contour that much, but I do bronze around my forehead, and I like these a lot for that. Then I have the round finisher brush. I don't think I've ever used this brush, but it did come in the set, and I like to keep the set together. Uh, the pointed contour brush, I don't believe I've ever used this one either. Then I have the tapered powder brush. I do like this one. I've actually used this one for my bronzer quite a bit. And then the large powder brush I've used for my setting powder. I have the JF06 Sweep. I don't think that I've ever used this brush. I don't even really know what it's for. It's like flat and it's not really dense. Okay, I have the drip powder brush that I use for highlighter when I use this brush set. And I may take this brush set and put it in my travel bag since it's not something that I reach for on a regular basis, even though we haven't got to travel in so long that I don't even know what traveling is anymore. But it would be nice to have a full set of brushes in my travel bag. Okay, and this is the Flame Powder Brush JF08. And this one as well, I don't believe I've ever used. Okay, and I do keep the face brushes out of that set separate from my eye brushes because I use the face brushes even less than I do the eye brushes. Okay, now we are moving on to another Odd and Ends cup. Oh, we have one more, the Jessup Flat Foundation Brush, and I do use this one when I apply my foundation with the brush. I think out of my entire Jessup set, this is the only one that I use on a regular basis. Okay. Now we have this Sonia Kushak, I believe is her name. This is a contouring and highlighting set. It came with these three brushes right here. And I really like these. Um... They're just really nice quality for the price point. This is the highlighter brush. And then, of course, the fan highlighter brush. I like this one um, because it's... I don't know if you can tell with this fan brush as opposed to the other one. Let me try to back them up a little bit. This one is really thin, and this one right here fans out more upwards. It, uh, maybe that's not the word I'm looking for. But I do like all three of those brushes, and I use them from time to time okay now we have the brushes that I have received in my subscription boxes oh we have one more Jessup brush that I will be decluttering I don't know how that got into this jar we'll put it in the other one okay okay so we have our crown set that I received from BoxyCharm a couple of months ago and they're already, the names are already rubbing off on them. It's a set of five. <clears throat> we have this eyeshadow, this big eyeshadow brush. This small eyeshadow brush. Um, a small blending brush. A larger blending brush. And a larger eyeshadow brush. Um... I generally don't use either one of these for eyeshadow. They're just so thick. I prefer a slightly thinner eyeshadow brush than this. But I do like the set. It was a really cute set. And they seem to be pretty good quality brushes. So I really do enjoy those. Okay, then I have my four Morphe brushes. I have the Morphe M505 blending brush. I love these. Then I have the Morphe M535. I believe I bought all of these on add-ons on BoxyCharm. The Morphe M532. And then the Morphe M503. And like I said, I use all three, all four of these on a regular basis. I do very much enjoy these. Okay, I have three brushes that are from... Almer Cosmetics. I think I said that wrong now. That really came out weird. 
I have these three. I also received these in BoxyCharm. I have the blending brush, the eyeshadow brush, and then these small pencil. I believe they call this a pencil brush. And I, they are very soft bristles. I do enjoy these. This one is stained from a blue eyeshadow. I, I like to use these to um, really center the color in my crease. And then I'll go in with a blending brush and, and buff it out a little bit. Okay. I have my Luna Magic Brush Set. I received this in a boxy charm sometime last year. They're really cute. I like the colors. I have an eyeshadow brush also stained with blue. I have a blue blending brush. This one, I really, I don't think I've ever used this brush right here. I really don't even know what it would be used for. And then I have this small eyeshadow brush. These all go with my other, I have a jar basically that is just for BoxyCharm brushes. Okay, then I have one of my Fenty eyeshadow brushes. This is the 200. I bought this on BoxyCharm add-ons, and I do not know where the other one is. We may come across it in a different jar, but it is supposed to be in this jar, and it's not. <laughs> I, I do like these Fenty brushes. Okay, and then I have this Firma 403 blending brush that I received in my Ipsy bag from a couple of months ago. Okay, I am back. I'm sorry. My battery was about to die, and I had to take care of that real quick. Okay, next we are moving on to, this is probably my second favorite brand of brushes. And this is the brushes that I reach for if my favorite brand is all dirty. These are the ones that I go for. I received these in BoxyCharm, and these are my Lux brushes. For the price, you just really cannot beat them. I have the Lux 217 pencil brush, and again, it is stained with blue. I'm telling you, the blue eyeshadow just really stains these white tip brushes. I have the 209 large shader. The small tapered blending 231. I have the 221 flat definer and then the 245 small shader and that is all of that set and then I have the purple set of Luxie brushes which is the 237 blending brush. I really like this one for the inner corner highlight. I have the large 209 shader. I have the medium angled shading brush for the 207 the brow and lash spoolie and then the 205 tapered blending brush and these sets are sets that i would purchase again oh i found the other fenty brush <laughs> I, it was on my makeup table and I didn't even see it. I would definitely purchase these again on add-ons on BoxyCharm, which they're pretty much always there because I really do enjoy those. This is the other Fenty brush that I have. This is the Fenty Beauty 230 Blending Brush. And like I said, I bought both of these off of add-ons. And I think I paid $3 a piece for them, maybe for It was not much at all, and I really enjoy these brushes. Okay, and then I have my gold, glitter and gold Luxie brush set that we received in a boxy charm. I do not keep these in the case. I don't really use the case. It has a funny odor and I don't like it. But I do like the brushes. I have the 510 foundation brush, which I've never used. I have the 542 flat, or... <gasps> Flat contour brush, again, that I've never used. I don't generally do my contour with a flat top brush like that. I have the small angle 215. The wording on these is really hard to see. I have the 209 large shader. The 211 concealer brush. The medium angled shading brush 207. 
the tapered highlighting brush and then the tapered blending brush. Ready? And I keep all of my Luxie brushes together in their own jar because, like I said, if my favorite brushes are not clean, these are my go-to brushes. Okay. Next, we have my all-time favorite brushes, and I'm going to just start them from just this. I have several sets of them, and I'm going to start them with my smallest set and go from there. I absolutely love these brushes. They are from Blinged Brushes. Thanks to Paige Corn and Allie Dawson, I have become addicted to these brushes. And I have made it my personal goal to collect all of them. And I am pretty close. I only need two of the face sets left. I have all of the eye sets already. This is my E11 in the Starry Nights collection. I just love the way the light reflects off of these brushes. Um, several people have asked me if they're comfortable to hold because of the, the ridges of the gems, but they are actually very comfortable. I have the E14, the E13, the E15. Wait, am I saying E or B? Yeah, it's E, okay. It is a little bit hard to see. And then I have the E12 in this set. And that is the full Starry Nights Eye Shadow Brush Collection. And like I said, I really love these. I use these all the time. Moving on, I have my Bring on the Bling. Oh, whoop, there's one more. This is the E16. It was in the wrong jar. I use this one a lot for my air corner. Okay, now we're moving on to my Bring On The Bling um, gold set, I believe. I think I have all of them in my hand here. Let me look. Okay. I have the E4 eyeshadow. I just love those. They're so beautiful. I have the E1 the E7, the E3, which is a blending brush. I guess I should have been telling y'all what they do. Um, here is a liner brush. This is the E6. And then the E2 is a foundation brush. There. And I believe this is the full set on the Bring on the Bling Gold set. Then I also have the Bring on the Bling Silver Set, which is mostly the same brushes, um, or maybe they're all the same brushes, except for the fact that the heads on, oh, there's one more of the gold. This is the E5. Here we go. Eyeshadow brush. Okay. How many was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, these. This is the Bring on the Bling silver set. I have the E2. And just for a point of reference, this is the. They look the same on the gemstones. It's just the heads of the brushes that are different. These are pink and white bristles. These are kind of a tan gray and white bristles and then of course this the metal is silver on one and gold kind of a rose gold on the other okay so that one was the e2 eyeshadow brush then i have the e4 cream shadow brush the e3 blending brush the e5 blending brush, the E1 angled blending brush, the E6 liner brush, and then the L1 small eyeshadow brush that I like to use for the inner corners. And that, I believe, is the full set. Oops. I'll pick up the drop cloth of these. And I just really love the bling brushes. They are a little bit on the higher end, but they are so bougie and 
They really just make you feel like a princess every time you put on your makeup. I love them so much. Okay. Now we are moving on to my Bring On The Bling face brushes. And we are building our way up to my absolute favorite, favorite, favorites. Okay. So this is the large powder brush. It is the F1. And this is the gold Bring on the bling set. I do have the full set. I or the eye brushes and face brushes of the gold. Bring on the bling. Um, I have. I only have the eyeshadow brushes in the silver set, but I do plan on purchasing the face set of them at some point. Here's the F3 face brush. I have the F2 angled flat top brush. The F4 angled blush brush and then the F5 blush brush and I actually prefer to use this one for a contour okay now we are moving on to my absolute favorite out of all of my brushes and that is my pink page corn bring on the bling set like I said I love all of my bring I love it's I keep saying bring on the bling it's my pink Bling Brushes Page Corn Collab Set. These are my favorite out of all of my brushes. And then my Bling Brushes are my favorite out of all the others. And yada, yada, yada. This is the large powder brush. And it is the F21. I just love it. This is what I use for my setting powder most of the time. Okay, this is my F22. I like to use this one. For, wait, is it the F22 or the F? Okay, this one I use for my under eye setting powder. This F23 I like to use for my bronzer. And then the F24 is my angled blush brush. I When my brushes are clean, this is always the first set that I reach for. I love them so much. Okay, then we have the eyeshadow brushes. I did buy the entire collection of these, but I did not buy the sponges yet. Um, but I think I will go back and order the sponges. This is the E28 Spoolie brush. I use that a lot. Here is the E24 blending brush. The F25 highlighter brush. This is the best highlighter brush ever, y'all. I love it so much. This is the E22, and this is perfect. It's the perfect size for the inner corner highlighter. It's just, it fits perfectly. I love it. Then we have the E21 blending brush. The E25 eyeshadow brush. The E26, a very small pencil brush. This works perfect for the inner corner highlight as well. Then we have the E27 liner brush. And then the last one is the E23 blending brush. And then that is all of my eyeshadow brushes from the Page Corn Bling on the Bring. Or, ah, I keep saying Bring on the Bling. Nope, that's just one collection. Um name the blinged brushes this is the entire i set to the page corn collab with bling brushes and i love them very much i'm really hoping that bling brushes comes out with a teal set i sent them a message they don't know who i am and they haven't even read my message yet and it's been like two weeks but i'm hoping that eventually they do and they come out with the teal set because those would be beautiful and i would love to own them Completely forgot to tell y'all about the Glamour brushes that I got in my BoxyCharm this month. I honestly, I haven't used them. I haven't taken them out of the pouch since the film of the video that ended up getting ruined. So y'all haven't actually seen them at all. Not in my box anyhow. I'm sure y'all have seen them on other YouTubers channels that received the same brushes in their BoxyCharm for the month of February. It's let me get a better grip of these. Okay. But these are the four brushes. They're super cute. They have the sparkles inside of them. 
and yep I like I said uh, they're really cute I just haven't used them yet sorry about that okay that was it that is the last of my brushes I'm pretty certain okay <laughs> All right, so that's all I have for today. I will come back in a moment and um, just say our goodbyes. But for right now, that's all I have. So y'all have a great day. Stay warm, stay safe, stay blessed, and we will talk soon.